Brace yourselves for comic chaos. Andrea Martin, Megan Hilty and a slew of Broadway faves are returning to the main stem in Noises Off. We're here today at Roundabout's American Airlines Theatre to find out all about the revival of this classic farce. Talk to me about the world of Noises Off. Where's it set? It's a little bit of a, of a meta show because we're actually in tech rehearsals for the play Nothing On uh, in the first act. And Do you have Nothing On? I end up with nothing on for most of the show, uh, which is really fun. What can audiences expect from this show? Are you speaking in a British accent? What can audiences expect from this show? Speaking in a British accent? Okay, that was a little cockney and British. They can expect a better accent than what I just did, and they can expect an amazing group of actors all doing a um, kind of a summer stock version of a play they're doing nothing on is what the play is within the play and Noises Off is a play we're showing to the audience at the roundabout. What can audiences expect from this Noises Off? I think these are very real people um, with very big hearts and very good intentions who are uh, thrown in extraordinary circumstances and it's watching people you care about and root for uh, just <laughs> with everything going wrong that could possibly go wrong um, and that's where the comedy comes from. The comedy comes from rooting for these people, not watching a bunch of silly people act silly. Well, it's a very big, you know, crazy, zany farce. So they can expect a lot of people with their pants around their ankles and <laughs> people in their underwear running around like chickens without a head and lots of doors slamming and people falling downstairs. And it's very, very, very physically funny. You've put together the most incredible cast, haven't you? They're just all fantastic. They've all got, and they're wonderfully delineated parts. So everyone just has a great moment or two. And then when they come together and start working together, then it's just golden. It's, it's uh, everyone's got their own comic sort of timing and experience. And uh, it all sort of comes to play with each other. And, and it's sort of like, you know, musicians playing with each other. It's, it's an incredible group. How's the rehearsal process been so far? Because it's an incredible cast, isn't it? Oh, it's an amazing group of people, and, and we're so blessed that we have this amazing group of people because this play really requires probably less sort of comedian-type actors than actors who can do comedy. Uh, and so they are pursuing, um, as Jeremy Heron, our director, said on day one, the, uh, the made a key to making this work is to keep it real and keep it truthful. I mean, when we get it right, uh, the audience will just go with it and the story, I hope, will be very, very clear. But in order to get that and to attain that level of perfection, is re it's really demanding. It's a fantastic cast. I'm so excited to be uh, a part of it with these people. And rehearsal's just been fun. I mean, it's, it's work. There's a lot of um, comedy mathematics to figure out. It's very confusing because it's, because it's a play within a play and people are confused. In rehearsal, when people are actually confused, it's genuinely confusing. This show, I think, was first on Broadway in 1983. What makes it right for Broadway in 2015, 2016? Well, I think the theater, any, anybody at home who's been part of a play or rehearsed a play, it becomes a crazy family very, very quickly. So anyone that has a family or a little craziness in them is going to directly relate to this show. I think even though it was written uh, about, what, 25 years ago? My math isn't that great. Um, it still holds up today because funny is funny. When I think of like the best of television, which we brought into our homes, right, starting in the 50s and 60s, it's the same thing. It's like these situations, we, wanna, we, we want to be safe from them, but we want to watch them explode in front of us, and it makes life kind of bearable and, and, and delightful. What do you hope audiences will take away with them from this show? Oh my God, I hope that they can forget what's going on in the world for two and a half hours. I think they really can. I certainly can in rehearsal. I hope there'll be great laughter. I can, just don't see how you can come to see this show without laughing, without escaping, without forgetting um, the very difficult times that we're in. Uh, so it's a, oh, a real a gift for me to be able to do it and I hope a gift to the audiences. Um, that's what entertainment's for.